All right, guys, Kettleboy32 here checking out. So I'm sitting out here at the long range. It's absolutely beautiful. Not not a not a ounce of wind. Real humid. Got some clouds overhead, uh, and I'm by myself again. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, so a little while ago, somebody asked me uh, what my favorite rifle or my build was that I had in my possession. And uh, each one of them is special to me, guys. I mean, they're all like kids. As a matter of fact, I think I sold uh, one of them about two weeks ago, but I sold it to my brother. Um, and that way I can get it back anytime I need it back. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, what is my favorite build? And I think they all have their special place, but this guy right here holds a special place in my heart. This is my Mark 12 Mod Zero. And uh, is it a true Mark 12 Mod Zero with a Douglas barrel and a LW or whatever? No, it's not. Uh, but it's as close as I can get to a clone as I can get. So um, another reason I wanted to bring it out here is I, I one of the best matches that I have for this particular rifle is this thing right here. This is the primary arms. Uh, this is their silver line. This is their 3 to 18 with the ACSS uh, HUD reticle that's set up for the 556. Let me break out my good glasses here. Hell, wait a minute. I need to get the other glasses out. But anyway, uh, yeah. So what I wanted to do today is I wanted to re-zero this rifle. We're going to be shooting this guy right here. This is the uh, Magtech. This is the 77 green boat tail hollow point, which uh, is the Mark 262 clone, which is set up for this thing. Now, uh, a little while ago, I did a video where I brought this rifle out with this exact scope, and uh, yeah, I do have the Arms Inc. Uh, scope mounts, but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> long story, they're actually on another rifle right now, but I wanted to re-zero this scope and then test it out with this ammo to make sure. Now, I've, I've shot this thing in the past with my 75 grain uh, Hornady boat tail hollow points. And if anybody had a perfect load for this rifle with that particular ammo is 24.4 grains of Varget. This thing is dead nuts, man. It's about an inch and a half at 300 yards. Uh, so I wanted to test it out with this guy. Now, the ACSS is a really cool reticle if you guys haven't heard of it. I'm sure you probably heard me speak of it in the past. It is a DMR scope. That's why it says DMR. Is it a precision scope? You, you could probably tune it in to where it is a pretty good precision scope, but this thing is fast, and it is designed to hit silhouette-sized targets. Uh, the cool thing is, is that uh, the guys over there at uh, Primo Targets, they sent me out these uh, targets. When they asked me what size I wanted, I wanted 10-inch circles. And the reason I wanted 10-inch circles is because the reticle on this scope is set up with sizing rings that are set up at for 10 inch circles basically the size of someone's head so if I were to range that 300 yard target it's going to come up exactly at 300 yards and then we go to 400 I can go up there I can actually see the 10 inch circle at 400 and then at 500 and so on, so on, so on. And uh, I'll, I'll do a link below to a, a video I did with a, a dry marker board showing basically this range and how to use the reticle to range it. But what we're trying to do today, and I'll get to it, is I have seven targets out there from 100 to 700 yards. And I'm going to engage those targets with this rifle. We've got cameras on each one of them. And it should be interesting to see how close we are with it. Uh... I go with a 50 yard zero on this thing, and it's pretty dead close compared with uh, this specific round. But uh, what we'll do, let's get on uh, to shooting and quit the yapping and see how we can do. But uh, anyway, I'll also put the link on my website, kb32tac.com, to uh, for the scope so you can see it if you want it. I think they're like $4.99 right now. Uh, but anyway, she's zeroed in. And I got a zero to 50 yards plus one quarter inch. <laughs> I know it. But uh, hopefully we'll hit them first time. Uh, 400, 500, 600 are uh, giving me some issues. I've actually gone ahead and tried it out. But uh, this time it's for you. Stand by. All right, so it's getting a little darker out right here, but uh, we can still see. Now, I got 20 rounds sitting here, I think. Oh, man, that bag was full. Uh, what else do I need to cover on this thing? 
uh, pretty much that's about it. The turrets work great. Uh, I think uh, Cameron Hayes did a uh, vertical test on this thing. Uh, his uh, point of impact came back pretty close. But the reason I like this scope is not necessarily for using the turrets, but for using the, uh, the reticle. Now, what I'm going to do, we have targets, again, like I said, out to 700 yards. I don't know how well we're going to do on the 700, but we'll see. Here we go. Let's go ahead and pop that uh, 100. Oh, by the way, yeah, I have lost three cameras so far since I started this range tar target camera stuff. Here we go. Uh, I'm Overload that mag. All right, 100. Two hundred. I don't know why I missed that thing. Three hundred. A little tad hot. All right, four hundred. Uh, oh, look, somebody left a bowling pin up there. I don't know. Did I hit that or not? Uh, okay. Let's see. That was four hundred. Now we go to five. Uh, 600. Okay, now the infamous 700. I don't know where I was hitting on that thing the first time. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to run the field, okay, uh, as fast as we can. And this will demonstrate how fast this thing is. You can find a target. 100. 200. 300 with orange. 400. And we're out of ammo. Damn it. Let me get some more. We'll do that again. We got 10 rounds in here. Let's do that all over again. 100. 200. Never mind, I was using 300 red. I'm gonna run all the way up. Here we go, 100. Two hundred. Three hundred's an arch because it sits behind grass from where I'm at. Four hundred is in green. Gonna go five. That would be six. I wish, like hell, I could figure out what's going on over there at 700. There's uh, 700. Hitting something. <laughs> I think it's that rock. One more time. 
Guys, this thing is awesome. Where am I at? 100. So anyway, that's just a real quick example of what can be done with this thing. We've done this video in the past, but I really haven't had an opportunity to sit down with you guys and show you to you. Uh, the glass in this thing is really, really nice. Uh, I get not a whole lot of vignetting, a little bit of blur on the 18 power. Once you back it off to about 16, you're perfect. Uh, the clicks are amazing. Uh, it does come with a lit reticle, uh, which I haven't even used. Um, other than that, man, that's it. I don't have any complaints. But anyway, if you're interested in this thing, it's going to be down on my website, kb32tech.com, amongst with a bunch of other stuff. And we'll uh, keep having fun. It's go to boy 32 Yeah, man. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. We actually have to come back out here again tomorrow night. This is going to be fun. Y'all be good. Go to boy 32 I'm out.